Noah Saint, the blessed martyrs of Campaign. On the 17th of July, we commemorate the 16 blessed Carmelite martyrs of Campaign, Mother Teresa of Saint Augustine and Companions, who were executed on the 17th of July 1794 during the French Revolution. The sisters had refused to comply with the civil constitution of the clergy, a law passed in 1790, which subordinated the Catholic Church to the revolutionary government, confiscated all church land and banned religious orders. The Carmelites of Campaign resisted the suppression of their monastery and so were arrested in June 1794 and imprisoned at the former Visitation Convent of Campaign, where they offered themselves daily for the peace of France and the Church. On the 17th of July, they were tried in Paris, convicted of treason, and sentenced to death by guillotine. Providentially, they were wearing their outlawed religious habits since their only secular clothes were being washed on the day of the trial. The sisters were then transported in tumbrils among a group of 40 condemned prisoners to the place of execution at the Place du Trône, Paris. On the journey, the sisters chanted the combined offices of Vespers and Compline. This included the Miserere, the penitential Psalm chapter 50, Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness, and concluded with the Sav Regina. Eyewitness accounts report that the usually hostile crowds along the route were strangely silent. On reaching the place of execution, Mother Teresa intoned the Te Deum and then the Veni Creator Spiritus. Then all of the sisters renewed their vows, and Sister Constance, the youngest and still a novice, joined in, thus making a profession before mounting the scaffold. Sister Constance was the first to die, after kneeling for the blessing of her prioress, and kissing a small stout of Our Lady. As she approached the guillotine, she intoned Laudate Dominum Omnes Gentis, Psalm chapter 117. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him all you peoples. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. This was taken up by all the sisters, who continued to sing, with diminishing voices, until all had died. Usually, executions were accompanied by shouting and cheers, but there was only silence. Sister Constance waved aside the executioner and his two assistants and approached the guillotine unaided. It is likely that the executions continued in order of religious profession. We know that Mother Teresa was the last. The 78-year-old sister Mary of Jesus crucified was heard to say to the executioners, I forgive you, my friends. I forgive you with all that longing of heart with which I would that God forgive me. The bodies of the Carmelites were buried in a mass grave. Many believe that the sacrifice of Mother Teresa of St. Augustine and her community brought about the end of the reign of terror which happened just 10 days later on the 27th of July 1794. They were beatified by Pope St. Pius X on the 27th of May 1906. The surviving pieces of cloth and one espadrille are now venerated at Stanbrick, England as relics.